What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, uh, we have we are kicking off our attack, or well, our advance towards the last uh, Mexican holdout in Guatemala. We have troops from the north, we have troops from the south. Yeah, I think they're just in a they're just gonna have a really bad time, and this will be um, I think we'll be finally taking control of the entire theatre in this case, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's engage in this first action against a very conventional uh, Mexican force. Once we've taken the Americas, we can have um, one or two armies as a as a uh, sort of a watchkeeper force. But for the most part, I want to be so dominant in the world's oceans, in all of the key areas. I don't want them to be able to... I don't want anyone to be able to invade us. So we got rain, which sucks because rain, for some reason, really screws up the audio. Uh, okay, let's put most of our troops down here. We'll run them up. Native contingent to the north to keep an eye on the artillery. Yeah, cavalry up high. Some household cavalry low. Oh, it says just feel free to pop off shots at whomever you like. General in the centre-ish. <gasps> this is perfect. Okay, you're right. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, calm down. Don't panic. This is exactly what I want. How it just can't actually shoot at anyone. With quick climb, so they're going to fire a round shot to continue to en to engage the enemy. But well, actually, sometimes I have to check: is it has it just automatically turned this sort of stuff off? Because sometimes it kind of does. Okay, we're trolling. We're bringing up our cav bringing up our artillery, cavalry. Can you go down here? Let's just see. How its fires popping off shots. The enemy are actually falling back. They're falling back to different positions, which I suppose makes a lot of sense. Actually, I probably want my guys to be here. I definitely want my put artillery up on this high ground here. That is a beautiful vantage point. Okay, our howitzers are doing good work. They managed to make a unit of horse artillery waver. They haven't actually brought any of the guns. They've just killed the crew. Cavalry is going to continue going around the back. My native contingent push forward. Probably at speed. Don't waste time attacking the artillery. Just slam shots into the centre. As long as that limber gets out of the way. Let's watch this. If they shoot, they would have killed the limber. There we go. Round shot away. Here we go. Although they are wasting their time. Deploying, redeploying, redeploying, redeploying. advance up into point blank range my howitzers can limber up because my, my infantry can just sweep these guys with musket fire or they could just bayonet charge them but they've broken anyway so let's instead advance you guys up like so T 
frontiersmen. Been in charge of frontiersmen. You managed to start smashing into the colonial line. My infantry format, but here comes the charge of the household cavalry, the 15th horse guards. As yet unbloodied. Exceptional e men push up. Yeah, the square formations caused some losses. Bring up the cavalry. Get my bowmen in against the 32nd regiment. Let's start to commit my light cavalry. I mean, things are going a lot faster than I can manage right now. Go for the general's bodyguard. We're engaging their line infantry very well. Excellent. The line infantry have routed. Go for the general general's bodyguard that sat there. They are now exposed. You may go for the 27th regiment. I mean, it sucks we don't have sound, but it's just, I have no idea how to fix it. It's just what it, it's just what the game does for me, seemingly in the rain. Charge the back of the colonial militia. Send my regulars in to engage the line infantry. Apparently, it's good enough. Up. Artillery folks fire on the colonial militia. Actually, no, don't do that. Folks fire on their centre of gravity, which I think is probably about there. Run my cavalry away. I think we lost a few on the stakes. Yeah, we did. General's bodyguard is shattered. Charge into the back of the 31st. Artillery engage the 35th because they have formed into squares. Send a detachment of infantry to go deal with them. Otherwise, the enemy force has mostly collapsed. couple of units are recovering. I fear they are not long for this world. Yeah, poor infantry unit. They, they came back to fight, but cavalry said no. There we go. A few units of line infantry have decided to come back. However, it'll all be for nothing. Infantry just pursue them. Okay, they've been knocked back pretty rapidly. They don't even have advanced firing drills, so they're always going to be a bit screwed. Get me artillery to engage the 24th at range. Everyone else has. Everyone's done a superb job! Except for the howitzers, they haven't really done much, and that's my fault, really. Advance up, engage them with musket fire. Our comrades who look very similar to us, they're similar peoples. They are Spanish um, colonials as well. However, we are the true Spanish colonials. And let's just watch the 24th. They 
form their defensive position. They're being hit by musket fire in the appropriate manner. There we go. They're running in full retreat. Could continue to kill them, but I want them to keep having to pay for the troops that survive <laughs> effectively. Excellent. Seize so advance, and secure the high ground, bring up the support column. So let's take my weakest infantry unit, fold them into the others. Keep my marines. Excellent. Let's see if we can start taking out some of these general generals. Claudio Nadal. Rats. You've already tried. You can't engage Herman Campos yet, but you will soon. Okay. Steam powered sugar mill. The roads are being upgraded. The army's being replenished. You guys try and chase after this reinforcing army. We could push this navy out and destroy them, but it's a bit moot, really. To be honest, you guys aren't really needed. Push back up to here. Yeah, you guys are still scampering around Let's see if we, you give us an opportunity to kill you okay let's get you into here then we'll build a another sloop to bring you across the Atlantic don't really have to worry about the British because they're going to be dealt with soon enough so you could engage but I want to see if they give us a river battle I'm not going to upgrade Orleon. You can't chase after them. You're still waiting for your reinforcements. Okay. Two more turns till we destroy the British. Until then, we're going to continue our recruitment. We've already got two full armies. We can take one of we can take each of those and with one army rapidly. It just depends on this army being built up quickly enough. You don't have to worry about their navy. That's being dealt with. Reinforcements are still on their way up. These are captured ships being replenished. I mean, our naval naval opportunities, naval position is very strong. Uh, let's actually check. Norway. Knights of St. John. Okay. Ooh. What about over here? Well, these both Portugal. They were. Okay, let's split our um, our navy up, and then dispatch two trade fleets to the far east or the East Indies. Excellent, excellent, excellent. start building up some more just in case we can dispatch two of these sloops to go secure the ports that allows the militia to be combined and either deployed and deployed elsewhere group you guys together push up to the reinforcing army you guys are good 
everyone else is good. I don't think we have anything we need to do. Just yet. At some point I do want to knock out. I do want to take out the Knights of St. John. Capture Malta gives us a really good foot gives us a good naval operating base to work against some of the powers in the east. What's their alliance structure look like? They're a protector of Venice. So if we do that, we're at war with Venice, which isn't a problem. Tunis handles not being here. Embark them. I've only got the one howitzer, but it's not a full army. Declare war. I've got no allies. Well, they're not actually going to try stop us. It's interesting. I thought they might have tried. I mean, I know they, they wouldn't win, but they might have won. Um, but yes, let's knock out Valletta. But before I do that, let's make sure that I dispatch another trade fleet to the Straits of Madagascar. Sí, señor. Let's start recruiting galleons to replace the... Well, you need to keep building up our trade fleet just in case we... A fleet runs in here like Naples and just clears us out. I mean, if we do go for Naples, it will be a decisive blow going straight for the capital, but they do have a really good navy. A really good navy. Alright, but let's... Let's secure Valletta. Secure Valletta, keep it as a good operating base for our ships in the Mediterranean. I mean, if anything, na the, na the Napoli Navy is the only thing that could actually... <laughs> well, it could definitely clear me out of the med, that's for sure. And it could do a lot of damage to my trading opportunities overseas. Take a bit of time to get in. But that's not terrible. Okay, everyone's spread out. Okay, all of you folks are here. How it says. Quick line. Try and go for the more one unit of mortars at least. Just within range. We can thin them out a bit. Maybe not some of these other batteries. I'm gonna speed up time because we right now we just gotta try and make a hole. Because we're using two batteries of 12 pounders plus a six pounder. It's going to take a bit of time. Yeah, they fired short. Two pounders are probably better off trying to thin out their infantry force so we can swarm in quickly. We may end up making two breaches. Just so that they can't concentrate there more to fire against us. I think our characters weren't shooting because it's sometimes they can be a bit funny. Ooh, excellent hit. No, but we destroyed an entire infantry unit in one volley. Exceptional shot. Let's see if they can wipe it out. Ten men left. 
That's right, try and defend it. Gunners engage this other section of wall, make another breach, just so we can run in quickly. They don't like being given orders during time compression. I've got one gun bugged. So maybe the howitzer engage the first regiment of foot. The efforts to make a battery or a second breach are ongoing. Excellent, excellent hit. Maybe go for the third regiment. Soon, all of their line infantry are just going to be very, very heavily damaged. Oh, good hit. Well, a reasonable hit. A less successful hit than others. They've got bayonets. So they've managed to trade that with somebody. I know, actually, eventually, I think in Empire, there's an idea that if everybody's research technology, it becomes... Or if, if a critical mass research technology, it becomes considered common knowledge and then you just have access to it. If everyone else have these things stuck on the end of their gun and use it to stab people eventually you kind of go hey, maybe this is something worthwhile too. Okay everyone get up. Artillery fire is going to come in thick and fast. One more volley and they'll be clear. Go for the fire lock on citizenry on, citizenry on the walls with the howitzer fire. Yes. There you go, they're focusing on the pikemen. Let's see if we can just run in. Pikemen advance, native warrior auxiliary advance. My light dragoons might have been shooting people in the back. Form, uh, infantry format behind them. There we go, the curiosity air in here. They've sent some troops to stop us, but not enough. We can just blitz through. To the point where their own infantry is using our breach to get in. Send my light dragoons after the first regiment of foot. They've been chased off. Don't come in here. Ooh. I might have done a lot of damage to my own guys, but I don't think so. Push in, you men. Pikemen are very low charge, de charge um, bonuses, but yeah, just send them in. Get involved. Get 
kill them. Kill them all. Oh, the general are running towards the pikemen. Native warriors engage the first. Everyone else attack that Maltese. Attack the Templar. Got him. Requiesce got in pace. Excellent. That's another faction destroyed. Let's see how much of a hornet's nest we uncover with Venice. So we can't repair the city, but that's okay. People seem to don't people don't really mind us being there. 106,000 we're going to earn next turn. Our trade to Sweden is entirely blocked. Not that it matters to us. Okay, let's... Are you recruiting from Paris? Nope. I mean, you're going to join... You're getting those guys anyway. Let's hit end turn. Okay. They're coming at us. So I think it's this army in the in the port that's coming in to reinforce them. So let's do it. These are effectively their this is their strongest force they can put together. The troops to the west are a bit more damaged anyway. So we're actually we're yeah we're in a pretty good pretty good space. Sit back, use our artillery to clear them out. Send them scuttling back to their capital. Okay. We're going to make it, take you take advantage of this slight high ground. So we're going to put artillery into the line just in case, just to kind of support our line infantry and hopefully make them use less musket ammunition. I just stole a bunch of my own line infantry. My left is going to be my strongest with all my heavy infantry. I'm going to keep my bowmen behind a unit of um, artillery. Cavalry hold back to see what's going to happen. General form up. How it says you're going to have a field day. And one set of artillery. Their job is going to be counter battery. It's maybe. Let's split the cavalry up a little bit. Actually hit anything with quick line. We can do a bit. They can make they can do some business, particularly against the eleventh light horse. Ooh, misfire doesn't help. Excellent, that's one unit of guns pushed back. The reinforcements coming in over here shouldn't cause a huge problem. Split my... Spread my line out just a little bit more. Let fly. My foot artillery is going to continue to engage their artillery, I believe. A 
I'm going to specifically give these guys an order to do that. To be honest, let's, yeah, they could all go after the artillery. That's really upset the general's bodyguard. It didn't trigger them all to attack. It's triggered two of them to just say, we're not dealing with this. You will clear out their, clear the barrels out for these chaps. Actually, blast this unit. If they get it to our guns, I don't really mind. I just want to. Oh, didn't take the general out. You can get to my guns. Oh no, you've changed your mind at the last minute. Oh no, they've got him. Go get him, native native men. Native men. Pull my gunners back. Use my howitzers to support the right flank. Format. So this gunner, this gun team, start to support the actual line battle itself. You're gonna get, you're gonna get picked off by my. Hey, you do. Okay, you do have fire by rank. That's something at least. Retreat. Yeah, don't have to worry about using my cavalry. Yeah, you're providing some extra profile, that's okay. Slowly creeping up towards us. But the bow fire can, he can they can fire it like a like a volley. They can go over my men. sure they don't come back. Yeah, for the most part, I don't think we have to worry about... We don't have to worry about most of these people coming back. All oh, my artillery... Where's my gun unit? Back here. General's bodyguard. More militia. I don't think we have to worry about most of these units coming back. Push on and just keep a 
attacking enemy units. Just enough they don't come back. That's all we're bothered about. Let their reinforcing army enter the field unmolested. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. Because their army hasn't... Well, yeah, they've still got to come in yet. It's coming in now. Cover engage the general's bodyguard. Hey, we've actually got some curacy air. Neat. Let's get him. Switched around sharp. Such a waste of their heavy cavalry. Eighteen men shot out of the saddle. They're still coming. Form square. I suppose I ought to reorientate some of these chaps. No good attacking our square. Our square is exceptionally good. Let's bring my household cavalry back to cut them off. They're broken, they could come back. Let my artillery do the heavy work against these guys. Hello, they have artillery. There we go. Let's cut through their heavy cavalry. Three kills while we can. Okay, let's advance on their position. Let's start to push them back off of their wretched hell. First Grenadier Regiment. First Regiment to foot Colonial Line. Second. Third. Another General. Militia. Horse Artillery. More Militia. So here they... Yeah, see, they come back. Recommit my Heavy Cavalry. to worry about charging up the hill let's just advance up there switch my howitzers to round shot to get a little bit of extra room yeah, maybe we do have to charge up the hill to get to where we want to get to colonial militias are waiting for us Nearly kill their Curacier unit. Push this cavalry up. Let's try and engage the colonial militia while we can so you can push up to where we want to get to. Okay, 
that. Not a very good looking line. Well then your light cavalry, go for the horse artillery. My general is mucking it about in the centre here. Bring my heavy cavalry towards him. Push a unit down down this cliff face towards us. You guys are firing well off. No wonder you guys weren't shooting. My heavy cavalry is yeah, they're gonna get trapped and destroyed. You can knock out this last team and destroy their gun. That would be super duper. Although, to be honest, they're shattered. Go for the general's bodyguard. I think we've managed to escape. First regiment wavering. Advance and take the high ground. We'll take the ground. Let my human engage the first. Sending someone back to try to protect their general, but it's not going to work. We got him. Okay, the infantry on the left are gone. Push up. The infantry fear. The yeah, infantry fearing encirclement. Where's my howitzer? Is it too far away? Oh, my native bowman I forgot about, and my general. Push, push, push. A general over here to provide a bit of support. He might get his head shot off by a errant, errant musket ball, musket ball. But that's the risk we're ready to take. for pushing up. Their other infantry is so determined to kill our cavalry. You know what? If you want them, come get them. The 48th are not going to stand. You want the cavalry? Have the cavalry. As they keep storming over the hill towards you. So you wanted to, you wanted to chase after them. Just in case, let's bring some uh, infantry units in for support. Turn around, he's right there. You got him. Things couldn't get bad enough. There they go. Excellent. Yep, that's the the strongest core of the Mexican army. 
very badly damaged. So they're going to fall back to Guatemala, most likely. I thought they were going to try it on again. But in this case, our army to the south is going to wait, reinforce, and the army to the north is going to advance and put the pressure on. Let's see what Austria does. Will they give us our river battle? Yes, they will. But not in the... I mean, the reinforcements coming in is fine. Let's, But let's make sure it is very much a... I don't need cavalry coming in quickly. I mean, horse artillery is not terrible. But I don't need artillery. Although you... Heavy horse howard says pretty good. Okay, let's do some of that. I'm going to intercept. I hope the game doesn't screw me. Because it might. Although they got 24 pounder heavy horse artillery as well. So my artillery is going to focus on their heavy guns. Ah, what the hell, let's try it. Worst comes to the worst. Trigger force over the bridge gets destroyed. And then we bring up a our reinforcing army advances. Like I said, our, inf our main infantry army, their job is to... Well, the infantry force is to hold them up. To use our artillery to greatest effect. I just hope the game doesn't screw us over and say, Well, they've come in from both sides of the river. Because they definitely shouldn't have. Okay, one infantry unit is going to stop them at the bridge. Another four units are going for the ford. The foot artillery is going to engage their 24 pounders because they are incredibly dangerous. I might even use my artillery to quick my howitzers to quick climb their heavy artillery because that it's really when I say it's dangerous, it's really dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna send one infantry unit over here to help protect this bridge. Ooh, okay, we're gonna be a lot of cavalry coming in. Okay, right, actually. Quick climb, you have to focus on... Focus on the uh, crossing. A lot of cavalry incoming. But yeah, my artillery's going to focus on their artillery. Worst comes to the worst, you guys cross the bridge, threaten their artillery. They're pounding this regiment of foot. I've got plenty of them. First of all, you're all going to focus on one battery to try and do as maximum damage as possible. Maybe hours advance. Horse artillery to not don't really need it, but take it. More cavalry are pushing in. Kill an enemy general. Okay, household cavalry coming in. You guys are firing the. Oh, there we go. They're starting to limber up. 
good. They're losing their guns. As long as your square, square doesn't break, you'll defeat the carabiner. is in short. Oh. Hey, put you guys in like so constantly. Just keep firing. Square strong. Yeah, push my Grenadier Guards into the mix. Everybody else is running. Fusiliers won't want to mix it. Not against Grenadier Guards. Even make ready and fire against the carabiner. If you just keep your square, you'll be fine. Foot artillery. Okay, gauge of 18th regiment. We've chased away one heavy horse artillery unit. No, engage the carabiner right in front of you. Don't worry about the guys over there. Guards get involved, line infantry, you guys cease fire. More cavalry coming in. Okay, that infantry unit's running. I'm okay, I can get my general bodyguard in just to make sure they go. Probably okay where you are. You men might actually have to s yes, slowly. Good climb shot the crossing. I mean, that will be a sweet volley when it comes in. So many. There's more where that came from. My Grenadier Guards, they can maintain their position. Mixing it up in the melee. Critical factor is they've been able to contest the crossing enough that we can't push them back in sufficient number. We need, to, we need to try to break them enough that they, a large swarm, go back across the river. Okay, we can push back our quick climb focus.
the Marines have to go down. Destroyed. They've only got one gun left. A heavily crewed gun. Engage the Fusiliers, Grenadier Guards. They hate Fusiliers hate melee combat. Excellent, right. Pull back. Get out of square. Format the lines. Oh, you guys, that's not that's very unsporting of you. My frontier's what I want to put here so they can fire over the river. Excellent, the artillery has been defeated. Limber up our foot artillery, limber up our horse artillery, redirect our firepower towards the crossing. But now we've got them right where we want them. Right where they have to force a crossing. Probably want to be up here. The horse artillery can number up. You can, yeah, you can skirmish the horse artillery. They're firing shrapnel into our line, so you can begin picking off some of their gunners. Although that's already started to happen. Now we got him. We got him right where we want him. Got our individual howitzers to engage specific units. Our heavy horse howitzer battalion just hammer the gaps. Obliterated their grenade guard unit. Sending in your mercenaries across. You dare send true Austrians into the maelstrom. Tearsman still engaging the horse artillery. They may attempt to cross. You're just out of. Oh, yeah, the general's bodyguard is actually in range. So they've damaged. So, so my garrison's damaged slightly. I think they are in a much worse position than I am, that's for sure. So now the general is finally in a position to go, maybe I should. Actually, the general's. No, I killed one general. There's the other. I'm going to get my horse artillery to try blink at him. But I suspect the army will break and run. Before that happens, just little three pounders. The regular howitzers can also fire at him. Let's see if he can strike him off his horse. Probably thinking this is all very jolly. Got one of his staff. Wait, his hat changed. 
Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. He's exhausted. Him and one buddy left. See you later, alligator. That's enough out of you. Excellent. So our force was in it was enough to keep them going. The Grenadier Guards really held it together. They were the ones that allowed us to get the critical withdrawal from the Austrians. And allow our firepower to do the glorious work that it was intended to do. The other army has pushed up towards the capital. We will want to intercept. Uh, they've got a lot of good stuff, so it's a kind of scary, but we've got loads of stuff. We've got loads of um, support coming in. To be honest, some of these weaker units we're going to immediately want to withdraw. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Actually, I better make sure to do the same over here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>